Welcome to video number 24, Calibrating the Nozzle Height. This is the final step in our calibration process in which we are going to set the right nozzle height by adjusting the mechanical end stop for our Z-axis. The whole goal here is to finally make sure that when we hit home on the Z-axis that it hits the end stop and positions the hot end exactly where it needs to be above the heat bed to start laying the first layer. Now every time you see the Z axis moving down, that means I just hit the home button. Which means that it's going to keep going down until it hits the end stop. So to do this safely, we're going to start with the end stop a little bit higher than we know it needs to be. Just as a starting point so that it doesn't run into the heat bed and damage either the hot end or the bed. Now I just moved a piece of paper under there. It's going to be hard for you to see just how high I have it. But the whole goal here and what I'm going to do with all four corners is we need to get the hot end just right above the heat bed to where you can fit maybe a folded piece of paper in between the heat bed and the nozzle. So we've already homed in the Z axis and the red light is triggered. So I'm going to use that as a starting point and I'm going to use my needle nose pliers. I'm going to loosen up the nut a little bit. Just enough where I can take my hands and, and manually slide it down just a little bit. Ultimately where we want the height to be from this point is we want the hot end to actually touch the bed. And from there, if it's just barely touching, we can actually go through and, and tighten the corners one by one using an Allen wrench. And we're going to tighten the springs down just a little bit at a time. But our starting position is going to be from the end stop actually touching the bed. So it takes me a few tries, but as you can see now, I've got it where it's touching and I can't slide my paper through. Now this is where we can really start getting it fine-tuned. So what I want to do once I have it touching is I'm going to move it as far into the corner as I can, and then I'm going to take my Torx bit or my Allen wrench, and I'm going to turn it just a few turns at a time until it comes off the bed just a little bit. And the way to do this is just like you see me doing, I'm moving around to all four corners 
to make sure that we're in the same starting point. Because that, that's the tricky part here is you, you want to keep your height completely equal across all four corners. And right now I've achieved that, so, so we're in a good position right now. Now, from this angle, it's going to be hard to, to fully see what I'm doing, but, but I'm tightening the spring just a little bit. And this is where you can finally see where the benefit of having the spring-mounted corners is. You can imagine how much more difficult this would be if the heat bed was fixed. Now I want to get it to where I can get a folded piece of paper underneath it and just a tiny bit of a gap because just like with everything else we've calibrated there is a sweet spot for the height and it, it can be a little hard to achieve sometimes but the rules to stick to is that you want your first layer to be a little bit squished but not too much. If it's really squished then you're going to have these really fat ugly layers and it's not going to look very good and if you have it too high then you're not going to be close enough for that first layer to actually stick to the bed so if you have it at just the right height it's going to be a little bit squished on the first layer but it's going to be enough to where it's kind of melting into the bed and then each layer after that is going to build upon that and it's going to melt into each layer consequently going up so the first layer is very important because if you don't get it to stick then it can either come up immediately causing you to restart or even worse you can be in the middle of a long print and then the print will start to come up and it's more frustrating when you've already been printing for 30 minutes to an hour and one of your corners comes up and it ruins your entire print so this is a very important process making sure that your first layer is solid and it sticks and that all comes down to nozzle height. So my final thing here is I have my height pretty close to where I want it so doing my best I'm going to try to tighten these screws onto the end stop and not lose my position because you can see how difficult it is to get it in place so once you have everything like you want it very carefully tighten the end stop and you may have to come back and adjust this a little bit but if you have your end stop already tightened a little bit then you can actually use a screwdriver or something light to tap it in either direction and keep it snug. <laughs> 